Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I want to share with you the succulent arrangements that I have done this year. So I have managed to arrange this space a little bit over the past few days and I want to start from the top. You can't appreciate it well because it's high up but it's a little arrangement that I got going over there with the Ichiria Derek, some campfire and some agave and of course our donkey's tail which is very pretty at the moment and let's start here at the bottom left corner where I have the frog it's a cute little frog resting under the jade tree And that's it for that area. Now we go over to this side and start at the bottom one there. There's an arrangement over there that's overgrown. This one has grown a lot bigger so we can see the other plants from that position. And over here I got this terracotta pot. They're all in terracotta pots, by the way, guys, because I love terracotta. Who doesn't? I know ceramic pots are really nice and some decorative pots, but I love my terracotta. There you are. And then this one I have done this morning, but I've already put it in here and I forgot to take a video when I was making it so there guys is the Ichiviria blue metal and some mm. Craptopetalum mendozae Haworthia this one is also a sedum but I forget what it is and this one's a variegated agave and some panda plant at the back there and some campfire as you can see there's a campfire it's a bit squashed over there but I'll find room for it And this one here with the Graptoviria manda and then the Graptosidum bronze, some burro's tail, cacti, we have the jade plant over here, and a Haworthia and Rifsalis. It's quite cute. And then on this side, I cannot see the frog, but there's a frog under here. Let's look. See, there's a little frog over there that was given to me by my mother-in-law, by the way. And this piece of rock here came from the beach. And yeah, look, the Echeveria big red has gotten a lot bigger. It was small when I put it in there. It was a bit small. And then over here is the little arrangement I got from my son's girlfriend last year on my birthday. It's gotten a lot bigger. One day I should deconstruct it and make it again. What do you think? And here I got some burro's tail growing in there with some fred ives, some ghost tea, and the Echeveria imbricata. At the back here is my broken pot arrangement. That's my broken owl pot. Can you still see it? Yeah, with my overgrown Graptosidum, no, that's not a Graptosidum, that's a Graptopetalum mendozae, some ghost tea, and some campfire. So that one needs fixing as well. And this one is another blue metal with some Aeonium, some trailing jade, we have the Sansevieria moonshine, some panda plant at the back there, and some aloe the Shrek ears and there's a topsy-turvy at the back there there you go guys it's a cute little arrangement and over here I have a fairy themed one there with the Ichiviria elegans and some ghost plant and some I think this is string of tears that I've put in there which is not looking very good but it's okay 
And here I have another frog. There behind the Ichiviria Morning Beauty. The Ichiviria used to be a lot smaller, but now I couldn't see the frog anymore. <laughs> it's hard to see the frog now. And again, that's with the burrow's tail, graptocidum bronze, and some crested moonstone. As you can see, guys, most of my arrangements have almost the same plants in them because all of these came from my garden. All of the plants in these arrangements actually came here in the garden. So there you are, guys. Oh, there's another one here. It's in a pink little pot. Another one that I have done not long ago. There with the Ichiviria Hercules, some Graptocetum bronze, and some elephant bush. What else is in there? At the back there, there is some kind of... I'm not sure if that's an Ichiviria or a sedum. But yeah, that's another little arrangement. And if we go at the top here, there I got another arrangement in here which is very healthy. I'm really happy with how it turned out. See? With the campfire looking so neat. I forgot the ID of this one, but this is the same succulent that I gave to my friend Michelle. And this one is Sedum Adolfi and the Burrow's Tail. Behind this is another arrangement with some cacti and the Sansevieria and some Ichiviria on the side there. And of course, at the top here, we have the birdcage with the owl in it. It's quite cute, that one. See? There. Now I'm going to walk backwards so you can see the wheelbarrow. Here, I have a wheelbarrow here full of succulents. And please excuse the mess because I have been rearranging the area where I have the plant shelf and I have a propagation of purple delight that I have nowhere to put so I just put it in there for the meantime with the pillow plant that I propagated for Ate Anna and on the other side here I actually have three tomato plants that I'm due to put on the ground probably tomorrow when I get the chance this was from Ate Ambi and Kuya Cell they're cute little tomato plants I gave them cuttings when they went here because Kuya Sel said he never had an interest with succulents, not until he came to my backyard. So he is so inspired to make a garden of his own with succulents. So I gave them a few of my propagations. They asked for cuttings, but I had a few propagations over there in my propagation area. So I gave them some potted ones, which I don't really mind. I don't mind sharing my plants, guys, especially to friends. I'm good to people who are good to me, put it that way. There, here is my very old wheelbarrow with just random succulents that I've put in here. And I have another wheelbarrow on the other side. But before we go there, see? Before we go there, I'm going to pass by this little sort of arrangement that I've got going in here. This is a fire pit, an old fire pit, and I've put some crested moonstone in here. And in the middle, I've put some Ichiviria big red. And here on the other side, I have a big pot of Ichivirias. As you can see, look, it's huge. Even the Imbricata is big. It looks small next to this one because this one is just huge. And on this spot, I just have some random succulents. I have a ghost tea, some ghost plant, and a jade plant. And over here at the top, this one, most people who comes to the backyard loves this. My Ichiviria big red that has gone big. Yep, it's gone so big. I mean, so tall. And let me just show you the top view. This is like a feature here in the garden that People are just saying, oh, that's beautiful. There, this is the Ichiviria Big Red. Look at this little one. So beautiful. You've almost seen it all. Now we're going to the end bit where I have the 
other wheelbarrow and my bonsai jade arrangement. Here is my unfinished wheelbarrow. I said unfinished because I ran out of the top dressing. There used to be a lot of pillow plant in here. This was covered with string of pillows or pillow plant and I decided to pull it out because it's just gone wild and it's just growing faster and faster each time. So I thought of pulling it out and replacing it with a Graptopetalum mendeze, which I think is a better choice because it's slow growing than the other one. So there you are. It looks unfinished because I need some more pebbles. Some of these little pebbles in here that I ran out of and one day I'm going to finish that yeah under the tree there I have another bird cage which you've seen before I'm pretty sure in some other videos but let's just go and have a close look for the new people who have subscribed to our channel thank you so much guys for subscribing to succulent marge and yeah in the middle there is the Douglas hut and here we have campfires going and of course, our Graptocetum bronze, which is a very good trailing plant. Oh, act no, 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 not Graptocetum bronze. This is Cidiviria starburst. Yep. It's a beautiful, beautiful trailing plant. And they also have other stuff going inside there. But right now, it just looks like a little jungle. <laughs> this one's an Aeonium kiwi that's overgrown. And... Yeah, the last one I'm going to show you will be the jade bonsai arrangement. Here guys, I put it in here because I wanted to get a bit more sun because where I put it before, it's not getting any morning sun. So I thought of putting it in here where it's going to have the sun all day. So there you are. Let's take a peek on that little froggy. Isn't he cute? there and this by the way this bonsai jade plant i copied the idea of this from cactus haven our good friend cactus haven please do subscribe to his youtube channel if you are from california and if you're interested with cacti because he's got a beautiful collection of cacti and there you are guys this one's looking pretty good the leaves are slowly coming out I took them all off before because I wanted the growth to focus on the trunk. And now it's getting more leaves. I'm still thinking if I'm going to remove them again. But I'm pretty okay with it at the moment. And that's it, guys. Look at my Mendoza. They've gone a bit leggy. That's why I decided to put it out here too. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I hope you liked it and if you do, please do check out my other videos and wait for my next vlog. Please do like, share and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye!